dividing fractions or division of fractions. We'll go straight to the point. For example, to find a problem, for example, if I give a problem, um, two thirds divided by four fifth. Okay. The concept or the let me expand a little bit, zoom a little bit more so it's much clearer. Right? Two thirds divided by four fifth. To divide two fractions, okay, divide these two fractions, multiply the first fraction. This is the first fraction. You're going to multiply this first fraction. So you put two thirds multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So this one here, you keep it first fraction and multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction now we all know what's the reciprocal of a, of a fraction so the reciprocal of 4 over 5 will be 5 over 4 all right and then we multiply the values just as how we did before and we see 2 times 5 over 3 times 4 you could cancel 2 here is 1 2 into 4, 2. This now gives us 1 times 5, 5. 3 times 2, 6. So we end up with that value. That is how you multiply two fractions. So let's go over it. To multiply two fractions, we will multiply. This is the key point. Multiply the first fraction. Which one is the first fraction? This is the first fraction. By the reciprocal of the so go let me zoom in back again. The reciprocal of the second fraction. Very basic. So that's how we will be working with this. We will multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction so if i give a problems as follows divide one half by eight ninths if i tell you that then what do you need to do well we will multiply the first fraction this is the first fraction one half by the reciprocal of the second fraction so we do that, the square of the second fraction. This now gives gives us 1 times 9, 9. 2 times 8, 16. And there it is. Remember what we had done with fractions also, we may reduce them. If it can't, if it can't be reduced, then you just keep it there. Alright? Let's try some other examples. Divide and simplify. I have 5 over 26 divided by um, 5 over um, say 24 okay now what does the rule say you will multiply the first fraction by the inverse or the inverse value of the second fraction or the reciprocal so that's what we have done here can we cancel anything yes 5 is 1 cancel out 24 divided by 2 will give us 12 26 divided by 2 that will give us 13 so therefore now let me make this 13 a little bit brighter so you guys can see it 12 and 13 and now we see 1 times 12 gives us 12 13 times 1 that gives us 13 so that's our solution that's all you need to be doing there okay so you can um, invert them now let's try one where we have fraction and we also have a whole number divide and simplify suppose I have now um, 40 divided by um, 20 over 16 all right what does the rule say well multiply the first fraction but in this case 40 is a whole number so imagine that you just put it let me use red you put it as 40 over 1 divided by 
20 over 16 is the same concept just write the whole number as a fraction now you follow the same rules you multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction reciprocal means you just flip them over now 20 into 20 1 20 into 40 2 that gives us now 2 times 16 32 1 times 1 1 which gives us a value of 32 that's what we end up with that value there okay 32 for that particular problem there all right now let's try a few more examples we go now to the other type because here we have divide and simplify and if I give you 2 fifth divided by um, negative 6 over 20 okay so we'll be dividing and then simplifying well what does the rule say multiply the first fraction so we give the first fraction two thirds times the reciprocal of the second fraction so remember we invert it but because it's negative we must keep a negative there now two into two one two two into six three and then we kind of go any farther there so we simply now multiply one times twenty that is going to give us twenty three times three that, that is going to give us nine leave your answer as it is unless you are told to express it as a mixed number which we will soon touch in the next topics to come okay let's try our next example divide and multiply let's say i give you now negative 11 over 13 divided by um, negative 22 okay now notice I put a bracket why would I put a bracket to differentiate between the, the division sign and the minus the rule says you will multiply the first fraction which is here multiply I'm just going to write bracket bracket by the reciprocal of the second fraction well this is a whole number just like the ones before and the whole number inverted simply becomes 1 over that number there so it's 1 over 22 with a negative sign there because it is negative now we cancel whatever we could cancel 1 and 2 and now we say 1 times 1 give us 1 13 times 2 that gives us 26 and that's our solution okay so notice a whole number you will simply invert it because it's division all right so that's how we do a whole number